You know what's funny? If you Google the term Fujifilm colors, you would think you would see Fujifilm colors, but actually people are searching for the colors of their Fujifilm cameras. <laughs> I thought that was totally interesting. But I wanted to discuss in this video how the term Fuji colors, people throw that out, Fujifilm color science. I think for each person that owns a Fujifilm camera means something different. And once you know you have it in your mind what it means to you, Fujifilm colors, type it in the comments below because I'm interested to see what it means. On Instagram, I did a hashtag Fuji colors, Fujifilm colors to see what would pop up. And I was interested that it didn't align with what Fujifilm colors means to me, hence this video. And what I saw from a lot of the Fujifilm colors hashtags was like muted tones and sort of that, you know, classic chrome kind of look, maybe ostia, but saturation was definitely on the lower side. And so here are the things that probably will affect your Fujifilm colors and what colors mean to you. So let's start with the first one. The first one is whether you shoot the Fujifilm film simulations, which are JPEGs that are created in camera. So the camera decides what the colors are going to look like. So now the camera is deciding on this JPEG look, but you can actually tweak the JPEG. So if you want more saturation or if you want more contrast, that might be Fujifilm colors to you. Because we've talked about before, if you boost the contrast a little bit, it gets a little punchier. I did a whole video on how you can grab your JPEGs and just make them a little richer. I'll link up that video below. So if you like shooting JPEG, Fujifilm colors might be what's coming straight out of camera, or it could be if you add contrast for that delicious little punch. Now you could be shooting raw, which gets complicated because the raw files can be processed by different raw software. So you could be using what Capture One does to the Fujifilm RAWs. You could be using Adobe's color profiles. And so then it gets a little bit more complicated. Now you're taking a file that's like a negative, you know, something that has nothing on top of it. And you're putting colors and skins on there. You're putting tints, you're putting color profiles. So when someone says, I love Fujifilm skin tones, are they shooting JPEG or are they processing the skin tones with Adobe standard color profile? Like no one knows, you know? So it's pretty interesting when someone says, I love Fuji colors. It should come with a little asterisk where you're like, I love Provia JPEG with the plus two color profile thingamabub. Now in Capture One and Adobe and On One and all these uh, Luminar, you can pretty much simulate the film simulations as well. So that's something, now it's not exact. So Fuji colors for you might be, oh, I love classic Chrome, how Lightroom makes it, which is different than what the camera classic Chrome does. Slightly, they're very close. The other thing is someone could be like, I love Fuji colors, but their, you know, monitor could be like green tinted or red tinted, you know, or they only look at images on their iPhone, which is maybe punchier colors. So when you talk colors, it's like so interesting, but also so frustrating when people are making like statements in, you know, Facebook groups and forums, and you're kind of like shaking your head. Those of you that know about color and stuff, how <laughs> color is different to everyone. Now, sorry, just bump my mic here, just bump my mic. Now color is also interesting in which Fujifilm camera you own, because I've done a video on this as well. The film simulations differ based on the sensor. So the X-Trans 1 colors are a little different than the X-Trans 2, slight, slight, slight. Like for example, if you shoot the X70, which is such a fun little camera to shoot, the thing I loved most about this, I took this camera to the beach and sort of put a little JPEG flavor on it. The colors gave me like a nostalgic sort of Jersey Shore, you know, like yellows weren't that yellow. They were kind of like muted tones. And so I had fun shooting the JPEGs that were coming out of the camera because the color science was just a little off on this camera. Uh, Fujifilm colors to you may mean not accurate colors, which was something fun about film, by the way, you know, it's like, what, what, what were the colors that the film was producing? Now, Fujifilm colors may mean skin tones to you. 
And so Fuji colors to you means what, how it photographs people and portraits. So that's kind of interesting too. There's such a difference in Fuji colors if you're shooting graffiti versus if you're photographing your child, you know? Because you can boost the saturation like crazy on the graffiti to just have a beautiful print. But for skin tones, you usually want to keep the saturation a little bit lower, a little bit more controlled. Okay, another interesting thing is straight out of camera versus post-processing. This is another interesting thing. What does Fuji colors mean to you? And I've already shown you that the JPEGs to me are great in camera, but they could be so much better if you just tweak like small slider contrast, maybe a little vibrance depending on what you're going for. But just a little post, just a tiny post-processing helps so much, so helps the image so much, but it opens up that question are you trying to shoot like film recipes that you create in the camera? And there's fun to that too, right? The colors that come out of it, it's, it's the same as film. Whatever the camera did, I'm gonna live with. And there's something fun about that. And um, I did that with the Fujifilm X-E2 when we went to Union City and we sort of shot these sort of Hispanic neighborhoods. I didn't love the colors per se that were coming out of camera but it was interesting to see what the camera did. Do you understand what I'm saying? Which brings me to what Fujifilm colors kind of mean to me. There are a couple of ways I like to use color when I go out and shoot for me. So the first one is using sort of a splash of color so that there's something that's blue or someone's wearing a red jacket or there's something red in the image. And so that color pops. Now, besides a little splash of color, my favorite way is when there's just an overload of color in the image. And that's where I don't wanna shoot it muted, I don't wanna shoot it classic chrome. So what I do instead is I will shoot Provia, just a general Provia, and then with the raw, when I bring it into Lightroom, adding contrast and a little vibrance, maybe like 15 to 20 vibrance, and a little bit of bringing the blacks down gives you that rich, but the colors pop. So a scene in which it's all about the color from corner to corner, I love to just boost that vibrance and show off the colors of this sensor. That's my favorite thing to do. What does Fujifilm color mean to you? I'll see you guys next time.